Nat Turner's 1831 slave rebellion stuns the nation and pushes the South slave policing system to its limits. For white Virginians and white slaveholders across the South, it was uh, a shock. The paranoia shoots off the scale. 50 dead today, how many dead tomorrow? In Southampton County, Virginia, Nat Turner, an enslaved preacher, has his own interpretation of the Bible. He believes that God has chosen him to avenge the sins of slavery. As Turner makes his rounds preaching in the fields, he quietly enlists other slaves to his cause. For months, the men meet secretly, conspiring on the plans of their uprising. In the early morning hours of August 21st, 1831, Turner and his men launch one of the largest slave rebellions in American history. The rebels move from home to home, killing every white person they meet. As they advance towards the nearby town of Jerusalem, more recruits join them. The local slave patrols have failed to uncover Turner's plot. So the militia is called out to track down and kill the rebels. For 36 hours, the rebellion rages on. Church bells ring out in distress. Rumors spread among whites that the whole southern slave population has finally exploded in revolt and that the British are invading to liberate the slaves. As panic swells, the United States government provides important military support. And that support is ensured by slaveholder power. Don't forget that slavery is protected not only by the slaveholder, not, not only by the local militia or the state militia, but also by the full force of the military might of the United States of America. Except for that, slavery would not have been possible in the South. As the hunt for Nat Turner and his men continues, 800 U.S. troops join 2,000 local militiamen. Within a week, the rebellion is squashed. More than 50 rebels are captured. Nearly 60 white men, women, and children have been killed. The violence doesn't fully subside until Nat Turner is captured two months later on October 31st, not by a patrol or slave catcher, but by a farmer, by accident. Turner is tried, hanged, and skinned. In all, the state executes 55 black people for conspiring with Turner. The Turner Rebellion frightened whites literally out of their minds, and yet even that wasn't strong enough to provoke them to get rid of slavery as an institution. Because for slave owners, profit outweighs morality and their own safety. By 1830, nearly two million slaves are fueling the Southern economy, and slaveholders aren't about to give up their free labor. And still, slaves run, and slave hunters expand their networks for tracking them.